Hey guys, good morning. Hey, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, gonna be doing a little cutting on the upper log pile again. It was really um, cold this morning, got down about 12 degrees. And so what I decided to do today was um, I'm gonna break out the McCulloch, that 610 McCulloch that I did a video on, my first video on my firewood channel. Um, I decided I'm gonna bring it out and um, try and, and see how it does on that uh, on that upper log pile. One of the things that I wanted to do though is I'm trying to find the right fuel mixture uh, that I can use in my steel saws and in that McCulloch saw. So my steel saws recommend a 50 to 1 fuel mixture, which I normally always run this here. And this is their high performance steel, the little orange bottle. Uh, you know, everybody's probably familiar with it that uses it. And this is what I've always mixed in all of my um, all of my fuel with uh, 93 octane to run in all my steel saws and my steel weed eaters and things and it was, it's done well for me. I'm trying to get away from, I don't want to have to carry two fuel cans, one for the McCulloch, one for the steel. Uh, the McCulloch recommends 40 to one uh, fuel mixture and the steels are 50 to one. Now, I've read a lot and watched a lot of videos about it. Uh, the they say the, with the newer uh, oils that we have, such as this, I'm gonna give this a shot today, guys. This is um, Lucas Semi-Synthetic Two-Cycle Land and Sea Oil, and it says right on here that it's, uh, it's good for motorcycles, ATVs, go-karts, personal watercraft, outboards, snowmobiles, weed eaters, and chainsaws. So, I'm gonna try this. And what I'm gonna try and do, I noticed on a lot of the chainsaw forums, uh, Arbor Site and some of them I read, a lot of guys will run even their new saws at 40 to one. So what I'm thinking is, I've got two gallons of fresh gas back there. So what I'm thinking is, Maybe I could get away with like a 45 to 1, somewhere in there, 40 or 45 to 1 with this. So, like right here for two gallons, it says uh, two gallons, 40 to 1, you want six ounces of this. So, I, and if you were going to mix it at 50 to 1, you would want five ounces of it. So what I'm gonna try and do is try and find a happy medium. I'm gonna put five and a half ounces of this in my two gallons of fuel and see how my saws run. Will the McCulloch run on it okay? And how does my farm boss run on it? So let me get this mixed up and um, we'll give it a shot. You know, could I be making a mistake? I don't know, we're gonna see. So if the saws don't like it, then you know I can always get the fuel out of it and I can always go back to running this. But my goal is to, you know, to try and just have one fuel can that I can constantly mix with for all my stuff and have it operate more like it should. So comment down below, let me know. I know this is a big, uh, this is a, a touchy area, you know, you know, we start talking oil and oil mixtures with guys, everybody's got an opinion, which, but I'd like to hear your opinions. Um, let me know, what do you think of me doing a 45 to one mix and running it on all my stuff with this, with this Lucas Land and Sea semi-synthetic oil? Has, have any of you guys used this oil before? Is it good? Is it, does it suck? Does it not suck? Is it good, bad? Let me know. So uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and then we're gonna see if we can get the old McCulloch over here to the log pile. And I got that big maple that gave me fits last week with my farm boss, my 18 inch bar. It, uh, it was a little bit too much maybe for that uh, farm boss bar length, I should say. And that McCulloch has a uh, 20 inch bar on it. 
So I sharpened the chain on it. It does have one tooth that's kind of bent a little bit. So it's not the best. I haven't had time yet or an opportunity to get a new chain for it, which I'm going to do. But, but, uh, but I did put a good grind on it with a file, sharpened it up good. So uh, let's see how it does. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's try this out here. Let me open up my Lucas two cycle oil and uh, try and get this here right at five and a half ounces. Okay. So there it is guys. Right at five and a half ounces or let's see. That looks like I can put a little shot more in there. Perfect. Pour it in here and give it a shot. Shake it up. Open up my fuel can. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna spill it. I don't want my steel oil. See, I haven't written on the can, so let's see how we do here. Fresh gas, 93 octane. Let's get all that oil in there. Give it a good shake. Go do some cutting. Okay. That's it, guys. All right, guys. Hey. Let's fire her up here. It's a cold one. Let's see how this McCulloch does on this, uh, on these two maple logs here and uh, with my new fuel mixture in it. So let's give it a shot.
Guys, it's break time. It's time to take a little break here at the log pile. I'm going to have me a uh, turkey snack stick, pepper jack, Clement. Never had them before. Let's see how they are. Looks pretty good. Guys, that old McCulloch saw, man, is that thing cut nice. One thing about it, though, it sucks down the fuel. It likes the, it likes the gas. So, cut for, man, I bet you I didn't cut for half hour, maybe, something like that. And I ended up, uh, I ran two full tanks of fuel through it uh, with that new Lucas fuel at a 45 to 1 mix. And the saw ran really good. Um, it went through this big maple fairly well. Like I said, I got uh, part of that chain. I've got, I put a new new grind on that chain. I hand filed it good and I got it got it sharp. But it's got a it's got a few teeth that were. Uh, one of them was kind of bent up. I tried to straighten it out with a pair of needle nose or something to just get it as good as I could to bring the saw out and test it and run it. But it cut really well. I mean. You can see here the chips. Look at the nice big chips it's throwing, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. But it's throwing some really nice chips. Um, that's what you want. But does that saw have a lot of power? It's It's got a lot of power. So I'm not going to cut with it anymore today. I'm going to get this these logs down to the log pile down here where I've got a bunch already split. We got about, supposed to get maybe five inches of snow coming in tomorrow actually late tonight by tomorrow so my goal is you know next week you know when i start cutting next time i cut again i uh i don't want to be um cutting in like a deep snow like that so my goal is to try and get as many logs ready to split as i can and then while we have all that snow on the ground i can just start splitting but uh man what a great old saw and it's a lot of fun it's not a saw for you know somebody with some weak arms uh it's a heavy saw and i can see why some of the guys say you know that it runs good it cuts great but it's a little bit heavy i'm not sure what it weighs i think it's somewhere in the 17 pound range or somewhere in there i think my farm boss is like 13 or so but uh i can't also see why guys will call those saws they say they're a beast and it is it's it's powerful and it runs and it cuts really well so if you've got a chance to find you uh a pm 610 uh mcculloch man what a nice old saw um i'm i'm really grateful that i got a hold of this one and and i'm able to use it those big pieces of maple that i was cutting like i said last week that farm boss with the 18 inch bar was just it was everything i could do to get that saw you know in every certain position to get enough teeth to get through that log and those extra two inches of chain there on that mcculloch really seemed to help so i'm gonna roll the rest of these logs down there and get them ready to split and then uh maybe i'll get the farm boss out and cut a little bit with it but hey i don't know nothing about these guys clements pepper jack pretty good try them out what's it say here Serving size one stick, five fat grams. So it'll give you a little bit of energy while you're out here. <laughs>